Okay, for today's build, or fix, or whatever, uh, we have this CDJ2000 Nexus. This would probably be the hundredth clip made about disassembling such devices. This one in particular had an issue with the USB port. And, um, of course, of course, no, what am I saying? To my surprise, it's because some drinks was spill, were spilled onto it. See, the remainder of whatever juicy thingy was here and here. I don't know how, man. I've never seen such a thing. Drinks spilled into these machines. God damn it. Yeah, so this is going to be another boring ass clip about opening one of these up and cleaning it. Because dumbasses spilled drinks into them. Yay. Don't get me wrong, this is a part of my income, a small part, fixing stuff like this. But, when you fix a hundred of these, a thousand of these, that all have the same goddamn issue, some dumbass DJ spilled some shit into it, it just gets frustratingly boring, man. So, hence my aggravation. Now, when you start demolishing this thing, there's one screw here. One here, one here, one here, one in this corner, and then, okay, you got three. See the arrow marks there? One, two, and three. The lid just comes off, slides off, like so, and it's harder to do this with one half. And there's this main flat cable here that goes into the motherboard right there. As you can see here, there's some cola based whatever the fuck they're drinking. Also, another cause of these machines going insane is if you use the smoke machine or a haze machine too close to it, the haze fluid tends to recondensate in these machines and then it kind of causes weirdness to happen. Now, this of course, it's like that uh, sticky stuff because some stuff just poured into it. You can see the rust. Uh, yeah, I think this was stainless steel, but even stainless steel gives up when it comes to the skill of spilling drinks in these things. Now, I'll have to probably wash it, yeah, as in take out all the buttons and wash everything. This is Casey Neistat, he's really cool. Now, in order for you to do that, um, there's a lot of screws here, typical to pioneer, just remove all the white screws and things, just go one by one and just remove them. Now, when you remove stuff, this comes off, that's the jog wheel, and then watch this thingy here for the, whatever this is, that, the, this LED here. Um, and this thingy, so this board is connected to that, to this, to this, and to this, right? And when you take all these screws off, it kind of goes like that. Make sure to disconnect the um, appropriate wires here, and maybe take a photo before I used to take photos. Now I just know it by heart, because I've been fixing so many of these. Um, take photos see where the connectors go make sure in case of, in case of these kind of connectors make sure you put this thing back on see that brown plastic bit that pulls out and when you um, put the fat cable back in you press it in the same goes to this one these are just normal push-in connectors the same with these ones and that one. Cool. Yeah, like I said. Didn't expect drinks to fall in this machine. Sarcasm.
So what I had to do with this CDJ is completely take the faceplate out and give it a shower. I use uh, some of this. Usually I don't do this. Um, I tend to clean it. But this was a special case. It had liquid everywhere. So I've just decided to do that. It's not too hard. That's the button um, assembly that I was talking about. This is the display assembly. I had to take it off because it needed attention. That's the display board. Some screws. USB board. SD card slot. Some more screws. And this thing. Those are drying. And I can start reassembling. Uh, this CDJ has a really cool mod. Uh, it's like a color changing LED thing. So instead of being green on the play, it's like color changing. Super cool. I like that. The jog wheel. The other side. It's looking good. It's uh, the display assembly back on. It's got these six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws, I meant. Um, when you put the display back on, there's two of these metal plates, one here and one here. Now if you check this out, underneath this one, I'm not going to take it out now, but see the, the um, broken circle. That means it's shorter black uh, screws in there. The rest are just normal, the normal, not the normal D's. Um, screws that are common from for the this board and the actual CDJ screws but they're like the same size silverish looking internal screws uh, there's a lot of screws here bang 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 what I do when I dismantle stuff is put the screws in piles roughly where they are in the CDJ if that makes sense that's gonna make your life way easier. Right, so all these buttons have this little frame thing, uh, shape, so that, cor that corresponds to the um, um, indentation on the case. As a little experiment, I... Oh, it's raining. Didn't expect that in England. It's a little experiment. Um, I've put these buttons by memory, slash that thing, the drawing thingy. So far so good. I'm down to my last button, which is... Where are you, my friend? Hmm. I'll find it. There it is. Hey, hey. Working with oh. all the bells and whistles. You're here to try to understand it's so clean now. Yeah, man.